Hey guys, welcome to the 155th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you um, how to draw the hang post uh, for your hangman. So, in the previous tutorial, we basically built the user interface for our application. So, we don't really have any code for our application yet. So, in order to view that code, you're just going to want to right click on your app and click View Code. And then we should see this code right here. And we're just going to create a method to draw. Oh, the hang post, so I'm just going to say void draw hang post. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is create graphics to actually draw um, the hang post with. So I'm just going to say graphics g equals panel one dot create graphics. And panel one is this panel right here inside of our uh, hangman group box, just in case you wanted to know. And the next thing that we're going to want to do is create a pen to draw with since we're only drawing lines. So we're going to say pen p equals a new pen. And you can make the color anything that you want, but since it's a post, I'm going to make it brown. So color dot brown. And the size of our brush will be 10 pixels wide. Alright, now I basically already have the code all written out for actually drawing the lines because you're not going to want to sit here and watch me figure out exactly which points to draw to. So I'm just going to explain how I figured out the points though. Alright, so basically the size of this panel is 149 by 218. So that means that this point right here at the bottom right is 149, 218. And the first line that I draw is from 130, 218 to 135. So we start at 13218 and 13218 is approximately right there because the entire size of this is 218 on the Y and I made it start at 218 for drawing the line because I wanted to start right at the bottom of the panel so there's no white space in between the actual post and the bottom of our panel right here and I didn't want it to start right up against the side right here so I made it start at 130 since the entire size of this on the X is 149 and then I had it end at 135 and since the X's remain the same and only the Y's change that means that it will be a vertical line straight up and down and it won't be like sideways or anything like that and, it's to, and it ends at 5 on the Y axis meaning that it'll start or end right before the top of the panel so there will be a little bit of white space in between on the top of the panel and the line all right, and then for the next line, which is the line coming across right here, it starts at 135.5, and you'd think that you'd want to keep these uh, X's the same, but if you do that, then there'll be a little chunk missing out of the line right there. So it'll just be white there, and one line will end here, and then another line will end here. So it won't look right. You're just going to want to move that line over a little bit. And since only the X's change and the Y's remain the same, that means that it's just going to be a perfectly horizontal line. And then finally, for drawing down, it starts at 60, 0. So that means the end of it is right up against the panel right here. And uh, it's, it's 60 on the X. So it's about in the middle of our panel right here, maybe off to the uh, left a bit. And then it ends at 60, 50. So again, since only the Ys change, it's going to be a vertical line. And it's 50 pixels down, so it's about from like right there down 50 pixels. So I guess about that, maybe more. I don't know. All right. So now when we, uh, all right. So now we're just going to call this draw hang post method when our form is shown. So just select your form, go over to the events in the properties panel, and go down to shown. And this uh, basically occurs when the form is shown, and you can see it. So now we're just going to want to call this draw hang post method. So just draw type draw hang post. And when we debug here, we should see our hang post. And yep, it's not, I don't know, I guess that's not brown, but whatever. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.